Hi, and welcome back to the Canvas Sommelier. I'm your host, Andrew Friedman. If this is the first time you're joining us, we pair cannabis and wine. Today, I've chosen two excellent producers, one from Germany and one from the east coast of Canada. The wine I've chosen today is from Schloss Leiser, Castle of Leiser by Thomas Hogg. Uh, Thomas Hogg has been making wine with Schloss Leiser since 1992 and actually bought the winery in 1997. Schloss Leiser, Castle of Leiser, is this amazing, massive castle that sits right on the edge of the middle Mosul. It's the biggest building in the town of Leiser, and it's this beautiful leftover Renaissance era castle. Thomas Hogg, uh, coming from a great generational winemaking family, he's been given some amazing vineyard sites and put some amazing, amazing effort and fruit into his bottles of wine. So today, I have a bottle of the Cabinet Riesling. I've never tried this Cabinet Riesling, so I don't exactly know how sweet it's gonna be. With Cabinet, it can be a dry style or off dry style. There's low alcohol, uh, it being the middle Mosul, I believe it's only eight and a half percent alcohol, so I do predict a little bit of sweetness, but very high acidity. Riesling is the king of grapes for sommeliers because it's so refreshing. The high acidity, the low alcohol, it's super versatile in pairing, and to be honest, I believe it's my absolute favorite grape to pair with cannabis. So let's open up the wine and see what it's all about. Wow, that is a Mosul Riesling slate. Minerality, lemon, lime, grapefruit, steeliness. Oh, delicious. A typical example of a middle Mosul Riesling. And delicious. It is in an off dry style, so there is some residual sugar, but it coats my palate. So creamy, like a lemon chiffon, lemon, lime, grapefruit. Wow. This is a phenomenal wine, and it, uh, it's no surprise why Thomas Hogg has such a great name. The producer I've chosen to pair with this Riesling is Faro Collective, and I chose a monkey bread, Faro Full Spectrum Extract. So the extract itself is a nice lemon gold. It looks like it was harvested at full maturity. It is terpy and saucy. You can see a few little icebergs growing in the middle of it. It's a monkey bread. So monkey bread, I believe, is Gorilla Glue number four, crossed with Gorilla Glue number four. So chocolate diesel and sour dub doubled up. On the nose, it has a, like a strawberry tums, strawberry tums note, uh, but it also has white pepper, a distinct white flower, floral aroma, and some mercine like pine and fermenting mango. From the wine to the extract, it kills all of that um, kind of chalkiness that I smell, the tum strawberry kind of smell. It destroys all the chalkiness and it makes lemon, lime, and mango stand out the most in this extract. Oh, and it really plays up the petrolness of the wine. Uh, steel, petrol, lemon, lime. They go really well together and blend very nicely on the palate. It candies both of them up and makes the pleasurable experience from both uh, the wine and the cannabis extract elevated. Let's taste them together and see how it changes on our palate. I use my e-nail for residual heating temperature so I always have consistency in my experiment. white pepper, mango, like dried strawberry, and distinct graniteness. Oh, it's a delicious extract. Very terpy, has me on the edge of coughing. The weight of the smoke is really heavy because of the terp weight in it. Delicious, let's see how it goes with the wine. Whoo, 
sitting right in my olfactory reflex, the uh, terpenes from, from the essential oil, and it makes the wine pure grapefruit when I smelled it. Wow. And the little bit of sugar, this off dry Riesling, coats your palate, takes away that little bit of white pepper, and it makes my whole palate uh, white flowers, a bright bouquet of white flowers. That's absolutely stunning together. So, Monkey Bread or Gorilla Glue, produced by Ferro Collective and Schloss Leiser by Thomas Hogg. Riesling, an off dry Riesling, Mosel style Riesling, was an amazing combo. I would definitely try this again, hang out on the patio, and drink the day away. So, if you enjoyed, I hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next week. Cheers!